Okay, so I've made a few attempts at trying to jailbreak my iPhone 3G and unfortunately they none of them have been successful and I've tried to do it across Windows Vista, um, Windows 7 and also on a Macintosh running um, 10, OS X 10.6. Uh, the results are pretty much um, the same across all three. On two Windows machines I was running the Black Rain program in um, it's both running with administrative privileges since uh, the user access control is turned off and it's also running in XP Service Pack 2 compatibility mode. Um, now just to show you what happens, um, I just rebooted the iPhone and right now it is in airplane mode since that's what some websites have suggested that I do. So I go ahead and double click on the uh, Black Rain executable and from the videos that I saw, the only thing I had to do is click on this icon for make it rain. So I'm clicking on that. Uh, it says entering recovery mode. And the iPhone is in recovery mode. Uh, program says that it's running. And for the most part, this is as far as it's going to get. Um, now, when I tried to do this before, I wasn't quite sure how long I should let it sit here like this, and so I went to YouTube and I put up some other videos of people um, performing the jailbreak. And based on what I saw there, their iPhones were only in recovery mode for um, a brief moment, and then after that, it's like a, the same picture that you see on the front of the Black Rain website um, would show up. But that never seems to happen with mine. I mean, it's just going to perpetually sit here. Um, and I'm not going to bore you with several minutes with my iPhone doing nothing, so I'm going to go ahead and reset it. And I'm going to turn off recovery mode and try it again after that. So let me close the program. Uh, go ahead and start up the iPhone. It's kind of hard to do while holding a camera with one hand. Anyway, so while the iPhone is starting up, I'm opening up the uh, Black Rain log. And it doesn't look like I can get this so that you can read it. Yeah, that's just going to come through blurry. But in kind of going through the log, let's see. It, there's not really too much of anything interesting until I get to the lower half. Um, it shows USB open failed while sending payload. Uh, and that is in here about, looks like, one, two, three, four, five, six times. Uh, then after, six, after that fail six times, it shows send command started, uh, file opened, USB open failed while sending command. I just dropped it like it's hot. WTF, who called this? Global callback finish. And that's pretty much everything that's there in the log file. Anyway, the iPhone rebooted. Oops. See, going into settings. I'm turning airplane mode off. And based on what I saw, whenever I toggle airplane mode, um, I should go ahead and reboot the iPhone. So I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clear out the black rain log. And just for the record, I also did go ahead and try and do a full restore on the iPhone and clear everything out. But that seemed to have no impact on my ability to, um, or my inability to jailbreak it. Okay, so the iPhone's restarted. Um, you can see the carrier logo up there, so it's no longer in airplane mode. Uh, I am running Black Rain again. 
Okay, make it rain. Yeah, phone to entering recovery mode. And once again, this is about as far as it gets. So I haven't been able to use the Black Rain jailbreak on a 3.1.2 firmware. Um, I, I think the last time I was actually able to successfully jailbreak was during uh, the 2.0 iteration of firmware. Um, when 3.0 was first released, while I could be said to have successfully uh, jailbroken the phone, Unfortunately, after doing that, I would run into a problem where any application that uh, was not pre-installed on the iPhone um, when it arrived would crash upon opening it until I uh, undid the jailbreak by doing a restore. So, unfortunately, since the 3.0 firmware, I haven't had success with completely jailbreaking um, a phone with either an iPhone 2G or an iPhone 3G.